Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will share with you some tips you can use when creating your Google Slides or some aesthetic presentations for school. This video will not be a thorough tutorial on making a Google Slide presentation. Since you can use Slides Go to look for a template or use Doratune for your video presentations. We'll talk more of it later in this video. And anyways, yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. First is you should have a design theme in mind that you will apply to your entire presentation. So here in Google Slides, they already have some themes available as you can see in the side of the screen. So to achieve a theme, you first have to look for a color palette. You can look for a palette on colorhunt.co or on Pinterest and search for the one you like. Avoid designing a presentation if you still don't have a theme. It will just make your slides all over the place. Also, do not use contrasting or too bright colors on your slide unless they really go well with each other. A theme in a presentation is essential and you can also easily achieve this in Doratune if you're planning to make a video presentation. Doratune is an animated video presentation maker. You can customize your video with royalty-free animations, templates, backgrounds, props, stock footage, music, etc. With their available templates, you can easily create your video presentation in just a few clicks. Anyone can use this, especially those teachers or students who want to make an animated video presentation in class. As I've mentioned, they have various templates you can use. They usually consist of video presentations around 15 seconds to around 2 minutes, but you can still adjust their duration. Once you choose the template you want, you can directly edit it, and this is how their editor window looks like. They have various tabs on the side that consist of menus. They also have their templates tab, some animated backgrounds, texts, character designs, props, and music. You can directly edit it by double-clicking on the text and typing your own content. And they have more menus or adjustments you can apply to a text or element. You can add some props and at the bottom, you can see their timeline panel. You can adjust when a certain element appears in that particular scene. Doritone also has different animation designs and transitions that you can choose from. There are also animated backgrounds you can apply. Before exporting the video, you can preview it first and once you're satisfied with how it looks, you can now export it and save it on your computer. And here's the short video. And yes, that is all for Dartoon. Thank you so much to Dartoon for sponsoring this portion of the video. Going back to Google Slides, you can now start creating your title slide. It depends on the format or text that you will use. You can look for more font styles on more fonts here on Google Slides. You should consider having a uniform set of fonts for your entire presentation. Avoid using fonts that don't go well with each other. Also, use fonts that can be easily read and those that are not too much cursive. You can also use the word art feature here in Google Slides. Go to insert tab and word art. The difference here is that word art text allows you to add a border color for your text. Unlike the plain text, it does not let you do that. So after adding your text, you can duplicate the word art and place another color to have a shadow effect. Adjust its position and place it back to achieve this shadow style. Next is to use the shapes as a design for your slides. Usually, I prefer using a curved line to have this waves or blobs design. Make sure that after you create the irregular shape, the ends should meet at the end so you can apply a background color on it. You can also duplicate that shape to have this shadow effect. Then you can duplicate this set of shapes or make a new one and place it on your slide. Another thing is that you can add some photos to your slides. You can go to the insert tab and image. Just note that do not make your slide overcrowded with pictures or clip arts. 
you can directly search here in Google Slide or use Canva to look for the image that fits your presentation. So if you have a pro subscription, you can directly download it with a transparent background which is more convenient. By the way, I will just leave a link below to Canva if you want to check it out. But if you don't have a pro subscription, you can just download it as it is. Then search for Remove Background on Google. So I will also leave the link below to this. Upload the image you saved a while ago. It will just take out the background and you can now save it. Also, I suggest adjusting the transparency of the images you included in your slide if you just plan to make it as a design so that your viewers will focus more on the text than the image. I just adjusted some elements here. You can also add a shape at the back of your title and apply the style. For the next slide, you can add a table of contents for your presentation and reuse the shapes from the first slide. Furthermore, as I've mentioned before, be consistent with the set of fonts you will be using on your entire presentation. Make sure to use simple fonts for your normal text. So depending on your style, you can set a uniform background on your presentation or use a plain colored background. Another thing is to use the bullets or number list on your slide. Here in Google Slides, you can also look for other bullet designs since not using bullets or numbers can confuse your viewers while presenting your presentation. Avoid adding too much text or words in one slide and it is better to separate them since it can bore your viewers once they see there are too much text. Next, remember that less is more in adding a slide transition or animations on your Google Slides. You can apply one to two different transitions to your presentation, avoid using all of it on your slides because it can make your viewers dizzy with all of those movements and motions on your presentation. So this is the presentation I created. It is a simple one, but if you want to have a copy of it, I will just link it below. And yes, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and see you on my next video. Bye, guys.